so fast Let's slow it down, down, down You won't find a better producer than Beat Cabo Oh, your love is like a drug And I've been taking way too much stuff So let's, let's, let's slow it down Some of the questions a lot of people ask me, uh, they ask me when did I start, you know, producing. Actually, back in 1984, uh, I started as a battle rapper. And uh, after that, I got into the scene of DJing and got to battling. I had a group called the Death Crew. Uh, won a competition, well, actually the Nationals, second place DJ competition back in 1983. Um <clears throat> After that, the following Christmas, my dad got me a Roman TR-606, and, uh, man, just kind of took off from there, you know, uh, I got a keyboard, a little four track, you know, I'm, I'm up here splicing tape, trying to make something dope, and mixing my skills with the DJ and into it, and, uh, just kind of build from that. <clears throat> Then like in 19, I want to say like 19, uh, somewhere in the 90s, one of my DJ partners, uh, he sent me a cop copy of uh, Sony Acid. And I started mixing and matching loops, incorporated the drum machine. And not too long after that, my uncle, he was into gospel music, upgraded his studio and uh, gave me a copy of my first copy of Fruity Loops. I got my first copy of Fruity Loops. I also got a program called Recycle by Propeller Heads. And uh, I ain't really looked back. It's like I embrace Fruity Loops like these guys do today. Well, of course, now my weapon of choice is Pro Tools. I make all my tracks in Pro Tools. Of course, some of the gear I use <coughs> is uh, like the MPC Studio. I actually bought this joint from my wife. She makes beats. She's a songwriter and she produces herself. Uh, use stuff like the uh, Kai MPD-18, the most big boy gear like the Roland MV-8800, my fault, bro. Um, <clears throat> Roland v Sub GT, Roland Phantom, G8. Also, like on the other side of the room, we got the MPC-4000. MPC-4000, then uh, my turntables and stuff. But, um, but yeah, my goal, my goal is to, to create <clears throat> quality, industry standard bangers. You know, there's a lot of producers making trap beats, Dirty South beats, so forth and so on. And they don't, they don't, I take nothing away from nobody. But when it comes to what I do, I try to incorporate their DJ background uh, as well as a musical background. Uh, because I'm not a pianist, but I can play it. Uh, I, I do play horns, trumpet, trombone, saxophone. Uh, <clears throat> but I try to bring that, that musicianship into my into my beat so it just won't be a regular old hard-hitting trap banger, you know. Because my theory is, you know, if you're making music for the hood, the hood is good, but the hood ain't where your target should be. You should be shooting for worldwide. MTS Music Group. Actually, MTS Music Group is my label. Um, it actually started back in 2004. It started out as uh, Mixtronics Entertainment tracks on Red Sound Lab, so I just merged it together to make MTS Music Group. Um, <clears throat> I do have a production team called Team Tracks of Us um, that consists of just a group of producers that we all get together here and there and uh, share ideas tips, techniques, secrets of the trade, and just keep each other informed on, you know, what's new out, whether it be gear or software. 
Now the original productions team consists of myself and uh, my homeboy Sam Rothstein. Uh, Sam came over to MTS Music Group after I started the official label uh, two years ago. And um, of course we made beats. You can check us out at www.theoriginalsproductions.com or was it the originalsproductionsteam.com but it's O R G I N I <laughs> anyway it's a Z at the end of originals and a Z at the end of production <laughs> oh, yeah, love is like